In this episode of Let's Talk Toads, we discuss how you can successfully manage SCN, the number one yield-grabbing soybean pathogen. It's the most damaging pathogen year in and year out, but interestingly, it's not at the top of the list of farmers' concerns of pathogens, because I think folks have become complacent by it, because it's just so commonly found, and they've learned to live with it, but they're still leaving bushels in the field, lots of bushels in the field. It used to be easy to manage. It was simply a matter of picking any resistant soybean, and they were managing the nematode. Almost all resistant soybean varieties have the common PI88788 genetics. There are probably 5% of varieties on the market that have an uncommon type of resistance called Peking. And then we are just on the cusp of having a third source of resistance become available. And that source of resistance is PI89772. We want to diversify over six years and use 88788 once and then Peking once and then 89772 once if we can do that. And the more different things you throw at SCN or weeds or any other pest, the more robust the overall management program is going to be. And then there's lots of different seed treatments that farmers can try as well. Um, or they might alter the rotation and, and slot in a second year of corn to try and reduce the numbers more. So soybean cyst nematode isn't eliminated in one year of corn and two years of corn isn't going to eliminate it either, but you will get another drop in numbers if you grow a second year of corn. So there is some merit to that. Effective SCN management starts by knowing your numbers. 